I'm really excited to be here today before we kick off session and want to thank our leadership and my colleagues who are with me today here to support working families and economic growth initiatives in Connecticut. And there's so many important initiatives in this plan that we've outlined today, but I want to focus in on a couple of core initiatives that are so vital to growing our economy in Connecticut. And these include investing and supporting in our technical high schools and community colleges to improve the workforce pipeline in our state, as well as supporting health care rights for women and families in Connecticut. I want to briefly touch on both of those. So first, supporting the workforce development uh, pipeline in our state. This is so vital to growing our economy. As we continue to recover from the recession, we've regained about 76% of the jobs lost, and we still have a ways to go, but we have some amazing companies in our state who are hiring, and there's tens of thousands of jobs that are going unfilled right now in Connecticut, and we want to make sure we're doing everything we can to prepare our graduates to fill those jobs and to gain 21st century skills needed to fill those jobs. I had the honor uh, last session of working with the speaker's office as well as my colleague, Representative Porter, Representative Cook, and uh, Representative Haddad, and many others on uh, a series of workforce development roundtables with manufacturers in our state. We met with companies like Sikorsky, Pratt & Whitney, Electric Boat, and heard from them about the need to replace their retiring workforce as well as the need to hire new work workers. One of the things we heard, for example, from Electric Boat is that they're facing a shortage of welders and that the technical high school right down the road, Ella Grasso Tech, didn't have a welding program. And so that's one of the things they're working on developing now. And we want to make sure we're working with all of our technical high schools and community colleges to ensure that the curriculum at those schools is aligned with industry needs. Another example, we had the speaker down in Stanford a couple of weeks ago to meet with Henkel, who just consolidated their headquarters from Arizona and Stanford and has hundreds of new jobs there and is looking to hire more. And again, we want to make sure we're, we're filling those jobs with, with talent here in Connecticut. Second, I want to talk about the importance of supporting health care rights for women and families. This is an issue that's near and dear to all of our hearts, and particularly want to give a shout out to Senator Flexer, Representative Porter. Um, we held a press conference last week to announce a series of bills that we're excited to introduce this session to protect health care rights for women and families, including everything from providing coverage for affordable contraceptives, access to preventative screenings, um, and things to support women during their reproductive years in the workforce, things like prenatal care and support for breastfeeding, and there's over 900 100,000 women in the workforce in Connecticut, and over 400,000 of those women are in their reproductive years. And so many of these women are also breadwinner, primary breadwinners in their families. And so supporting women in the workforce and providing affordable health care coverage will provide economic security for women and their families and continue to grow our economy in Connecticut.